Perhaps the most popular Elvis fan attraction is the Elvis Imitator. There are more than a thousand of them, all battling for the fans who used to pay to see the real Elvis. That story when our series continues on the 6 o'clock news. Pat O'Brien, Channel 2 News. Even the real Elvis Presley had troubles explaining why they screamed at him. Elvis Presley will never die. Um, Daniel Boone will never die. And Elvis is certainly in that category. He is part of America's folklore at this stage, and he always will be. I want you, I need you. starring Pete Wilcox, an Elvis imitator, is in production called Simply Elvis. It is Tuesday night. You're in Orange County. Pete Wilcox, one of the imitators, is getting ready to perform. Not staying current with things. You know, I never know what's happening around me. The imitators all have different styles offstage. Some actually think of themselves as Elvis and go through what they think are the motions Elvis went through on any given day. It's eerie. Your youngest fan, Karen, is. Lots of kisses and hugs on him. So I sent her back a note. On the envelope, I put return to sender, which I thought should have some sort of social significance. But the note back says, hi, baby. We'll fix it so that you can come in the next time. Sorry you didn't come tonight. I'll be singing one for you. All my love, Pete. <laughs> Jesus, that's not Pete, it's Elvis. You try to add a little bit more. Maybe this week is to walk. Maybe next week you work on the southern accent. Maybe the following week you stare out of your eyes a little bit sneakier like Elvis might have done. Maybe you freeze a little bit longer. You tease the audience a certain way. Think about it for a moment. Of any performer, dead or alive, which attracts such a large number of imitators, let alone fans of the imitators. There are only so many Elvis songs that you can do that the audience wants to hear. And each week, somehow, we have to keep it alive. So you can't get comfortable with it. You have to keep moving and keep yourself off balance. What do you think, uh, what do you think Alice would have thought of it? I think he would have got a kick out of it. I really do. Oh, 